Alright, good morning everybody. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Mr. Gravatt is having a good morning so far. Knocked out the workout, knocked out taking care of the yard. And now I'm here with my lovely family. My almost two-year-old may or may not be about to throw a fit. No, actually he's hiding behind the curtain, so it's all good. Crisis averted. Uh, you may or may not hear Mickey Mouse Clubhouse in the background. Just more proof that... <clears throat> Just more proof that uh, we're all in this together, right? Um, there has been so much Mickey Mouse Clubhouse played in this house that this morning, probably around 5 o'clock or so, I was awakened by voices of Donald Duck or Mickey or Minnie, and I legitimately thought my wife and my son were downstairs watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, which meant that it probably wasn't a great night sleeping. Um, but <laughs> that wasn't the case. Uh, they were sound asleep, and I was just hearing... The voices of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse in my sleep. So, uh, I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. Um, but uh, Luke's home with us today. Uh, no babysitter. So, we're going to make the best of it. And I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be okay. Uh, luckily, he's a, a ray of sunshine. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, a couple things uh, left over from last week. Uh, number one, the test uh, I posted it on Google Classroom on Friday. You can still take it. Uh, you can take as many times as you'd like. All right. I'm not going to tell you you only get one chance at a uh, one shot at a, at a at a redo or anything like that. You get multiple shots at it. Uh, so be sure to take care of that as soon as you can. Um, five questions, four of them, multiple choice, and then uh, one open response. Um I've been pretty good about uh, getting grades back to everybody as quickly as I can. So please, please, please go ahead and get that taken care of. For the most part, it looks like about uh, 60% of us, if I had to guess, 60% of us have probably gone ahead and taken it, while we still got a healthy 40% that have not. So please, please, please get to that. All right. Uh, office hours this week are going to be 7.30 to 2.30, but y'all know I'm checking the Google Hangout chat room and everything uh, as often as I can. Uh, let's make a couple of improvements from last week if we can help it. Um, utilize our uh, this vi these video lectures I'm posting. Please, please, please uh, utilize those. Um, they do come in handy. Uh, if you watched them all last week, there's a really good chance you made 100 on the test on the first shot. Um, so let's make sure we're using our resources. Don't... I know that some of you all have limited time on the Chromebook or on the laptop or however you're doing your work. I do understand that, but please, please, please make the most of that time. You might as well. <clears throat> so uh, use your resources, and that's how we'll be successful. All right. Um, let's see. What else we do we need to cover? Um, that, to me, that's the biggest improvement from last week. We won't see any more Google Forms. In case you noticed, didn't notice last week, the Google Forms... Uh, that we tried to use last week were an absolute disaster. I don't know why they worked before uh, school shut down, um, but for whatever reason, now they're not. So uh, we're going to scrap those, and everything's just going to be on Google Docs. So be prepared for that. Hopefully that helps everybody out. All right. And, yep, my son is running around kicking the soccer ball and uh, beating the drum that is the washing machine. So it's great. Hmm got a strong left foot. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into today's assignment, Causes of Great Depression. We're switching over from World War I to the Great Depression. All right, so what's the connection between the two? Why does the Great Depression come after World War I? Well, the Treaty of Versailles um, that ended World War I focused on punishing Germany harshly. All right, Germany was Europe's number one economic power, even more so than Great Britain. And uh, Germany... So to, to punish Germany's economy was the equivalent of uh, taking the wheels off uh, uh, off your family's truck. You need that truck to get to work, to haul stuff and everything. Um, it's a very valuable resource. And <clears throat> Germany was no longer to do that. So in a lot of ways, Europe Europe's economy was a vehicle with no wheels. Not much use, is it? So Germany, um, not only that... Uh, their people were unemployed. The people, we talked about this last week, the people were in charge of paying off all the reparations. Remember that word? Um, a lot of unfairness going around Germany at that time. And uh, unfortunately, on a, on a nice little preview into World War II, there's a, there's a man that 
uh, takes full advantage of this, uh, uh, that's got political aspirations in Germany. Uh, you may have heard of him. His name is Adolf Hitler. Um, he now has a platform to win the German people over because of this. More on him next week. So, uh, Germany is broke. Europe, their economy is, takes a huge hit. And the United States picks up all, their produ- uh, all the production. And people are making money left and right. It's the greatest economy in the history of the world. I'm not making fun of anybody right there, I swear. Um, and the United States sees in the 1920s, sees a whole lot of production. People are making money left and right. More. The standard of living increases for, uh, for most American families. Um, uh, it's prosperity for most people. Uh, we still have a lot of people who don't see that prosperity. And, uh, we can talk, if we were in class right now, we could have that whole conversation and ask the question, is it true pos- prosperity if not everybody is, is prospering? And to me, the answer is no, it's not true prosperity, but, uh, we'll have to wait till we're back in the classroom to have that conversation. Um, so United States is making all this money and everything. People have, or this is the decade that you see the advent of the credit card, right? Uh, and people are having fun with their credit cards. Now, obviously, you can see what the problems with that are. You may have somebody in your family who has too much fun with the credit card or the Amazon account that is paid with the credit card. So, um, so the United States um, uh, is making money left and right. Um, people are starting up. It's a great time to start up a business, right? And people are going to the banks to get a loan to start a business. And that's what you do when you start a business. You have to go to the bank and get a loan to get started. Um, here's the problem with that. Um, people had, Once the Great Depression started, people had to close their businesses and therefore couldn't pay off their loans. So they were in uh, a lot of debt. There were people. So it's very similar to what you're seeing today with somebody that just opened, maybe a restaurant just opened up last month or two months ago, and then the coronavirus thing hits and they have to shut their doors. Those, those people have been dreaming for years of opening up their own restaurant. Now, that's put on at least put on hold. So you can see a lot of similarities between the situation we're in now and the, uh, and the Great Depression almost 100, uh, right around 90 years ago now. All right, so uh, people aren't able to pay off their, uh, off their loans. And oh, by the way, people had put their life savings into the banks. This is where you're going to get really mad at the banks. And this is where you might have heard about a lot of old people that didn't trust banks. Then they'd rather put their money in a jar in the backyard or something or underneath a mattress. Uh, the banks did not pay... Um, the banks did not pay. Uh, we're using people's life savings money in their accounts to dish out loans. Well, when people couldn't pay their loans back, guess what the bank couldn't do? Put money back where they found it. See what I'm saying? So that's an issue. And if you are a bank customer and you find out the pe- the bank's taking money out of your account and then can't replace it, are you going to be pretty mad? Yeah. All right. So that's what causes the Great Depression. And... Um, uh, the U.S. Uh, unemployment rate reaches right around 25%, I think, at this time, in 1930, about 1933. All right, so let's get down to the causes of the, this packet that we're assigning today. All right, so which of the following terms of the Treaty of Versailles had the biggest glo- impact on the global economy? Um, I think that's it, it's got to be German reparations. Again, we talked about this. Uh, the German taxpayers are having to pay for uh, all the damages of World War One. Definitely, probably not fair. All right, so number two, what was the amount of reparations that Germany had to pay for the war? Uh, Look that one up. I'm going to have you look that one up. So I think you'll be astonished by the number. In fact, that's a number that in 1933, or I'm sorry, 1919, probably didn't exist, an amount of money in the world that didn't exist. So in Germany, I believe, as of the last, here within the last 10 years, just now paid off those debts. Yeah. All right, why was it a bad idea to buy stock using loans from the bank? Uh, because you got to pay off those loans. And if your stock goes bad, guess what? You can't pay off a loan. Why is it a bad idea to pay bills with a credit card? Um, for those of you all that have ever dug a hole, uh, literally with a shovel, um, do, you dig a, do you dig yourself out of a hole by digging another one? No. Uh, paying bills with a credit card is not a good idea. 
Um, do customers of the banks have a case if they choose to sue the banks for pulling money out of their accounts when loans couldn't be paid off? Why or why not? In theory, probably yes, but um, Great Depression starts, what money do you have? Can you afford a lawyer? Now, I'm sure there were lawyers left and right that stepped up for these people and said, hey, I'll represent you if you want to sue that bank. But how are you going to pay off a lawyer? See what I'm saying? All right, so you, you, lawyers at this time were prob- probably had a lo- probably were busy, but unfortunately they're probably also working for very little profit. So, all right, there's a political cartoon on here I need you to take a look at. But what do you notice about the baby in the cartoon? Uh, you're gonna see this baby is nothing but skin and bones. Uh, the uh, the caption in the cartoon is just wait when I have paid 100 million marks. Uh, then there will be something to eat again. It's a it's a mom with uh, a baby in the cartoon. How many people are in the cartoon? I'm going to let you find that on your own. you got to look closely. So let's skip ahead to number eight. Look at the bubble chart below. Which of the causes is the greatest cause of the Great Depression? This is your opinion. All right? It's a lot of causes on here on this chart. This is your opinion. All right? A lot of these on here are worth looking at. Uh, I would, if it were me, if it were me, I would pay special attention to the 1928 presidential election, mostly because what you'll find about the president, Herbert Hoover, is his lack of reaction to um, the, uh, his lack of reaction to the Great Depression. Uh, tomorrow we'll compare that to President Trump's reaction to the coronavirus, how they're similar, how they're different, um, maybe who reacted better. Um, so we'll talk about that. Uh, so if it were me, if you want to set yourself up for some success tomorrow, I would look at the 1928 presidential election. Unequal distribution of wealth. Remember my question, is it true prosperity if not everybody is prospering? You need to think about that. Um, stock market crash and financial panic. Uh, there's a word on here I also might need you to become familiar with, tariffs. Um, it's basically a tax on, on uh, items that you trade with another country. Very important to know. And that's it. So um, I hopefully more people are watching these videos this week because it's obvious that if you watch the videos, you get the answers to the work. Use your resources, okay? Um, like I said, I'll be available from 7.30 to 2.30. I'll be checking in on Google, uh, Google Chat uh, or Google Hangouts chat, and then we'll do a video chat for each class. Remember, first period's at 11 o'clock, third period's at 11.30, fourth is at noon, and fifth period's at 1 o'clock. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.